What up everyone? I just watched Better Call of Saul season 6, the first two episodes last night on uh, AMC. It's pretty funny, I haven't watched Breaking Bad or anything on AMC since fucking Breaking Bad came out, so that was pretty funny. So yeah, like I said, season 6, it is uh, getting off to a pretty good start. If you haven't watched Better Call of Saul and you want to get caught up, caught up I would suggest checking out the man who recaps on youtube he does recaps for all the seasons if you don't feel like watching the show or you did and you just can't remember just go and watch those recaps on youtube they help so much i love these shows but sometimes there's just so many episodes and so much detail you just tend to forget what everything that happens so every now and then a nice recap would be nice this is no spoilers at all, it won't be a long review, I just wanted to give you guys my initial thoughts on the first two episodes, and then when the season ends, I'll do like a season finale review. But all in all, this is a really good start to season six. It picked up right where season five left off, which I absolutely love when they do that. I absolutely hate when a season ends on a big cliffhanger and then... The next season, it just starts off with something else, and they completely forget about that cliffhanger from last season. Vince Gilligan didn't do that here. He's fully committed to just going balls out and finishing the story in the best way he can that he set up in these past five seasons. I do think Breaking Bad just has better character moments. Here, it does kind of suck because... There is a lot of times where characters do get put into danger and you know they're not going to die because they're in Breaking Bad. So seeing Hector and Gus going back and forth is amazing. It will always be fun to watch. But we already know the outcome and what happens in Breaking Bad. So to me, my opinion was I think Better Call Saul should have came out first and then Breaking Bad. But... My friend brought up a good point. Like, no one would watch it because Better Call of Saul has a really slow first three seasons. A lot of people, myself included, clocked out of and then came back. So people just... I think people like Breaking Bad better because it was a slow burn, but at the same time, the characters grabbed you. Here, the characters... I didn't really start to care that much until, i say, season three. The first two seasons, I... It was really hard for me to get behind it, but then I rewatched it again and I started to like it a lot more. Everyone's different, but the characters in this still, for the most part, are really done well, especially Mike. Mike is, and Jonathan Banks just fucking kills it. He's so good. If we ever get another spinoff show, I would take Mike, I would have taken Mike over Saul any day of the week anyway, but if they're going to do anything after this, which you don't think they will because... I mean, Jonathan Banks is like 80 years old, but um, I would definitely, I would kill to see Mike in the spinoff show. I'd love him. I absolutely love him. But seeing Gus and Hector going back and forth is awesome. All the Salamancas, all the new Salamanca characters they bring in here to Better Call Saul, you can kind of tell that some of them get killed off and they're not going to be in Breaking Bad. So I'm curious how... Uh, Nacho is going to get out of whatever the fuck he's getting out of the shit storm of hell. Everyone's after him. And I'm kind of curious to see. You. I, I didn't really care about Kim and Jimmy at the beginning. And then I did. And then I didn't. And now I'm starting to care about them again. I just, the banner between them gets a bit fucking exhausting to me. It's just constant bitching and bitching. But I am curious if Kim is going to leave him. Or she's going to leave him, she's going to try to leave him and something's going to happen because they aren't together in Breaking Bad. So I'm actually very curious as to what happens with them. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of uh, the past two episodes. If you want me to review the next, you know, every episode. Or we'll just do a full breakdown of the season when it's over, which I'll probably do. But all in all, get a good start. Could, could be a bit better of a... I think they can just up the intensity a little bit. It The stakes feel low, and I like that. They're not too high. It does feel intense, 
but I just do not get that same feeling of intensity as I did when I watched Breaking Bad. Like, every situation in Breaking Bad was so fleshed out, and it is here, too, but the only issue I have with this show is that there's so many other subplots, so you'll go from Nacho running from the Mexicans, and then you jump from that to Kim doing her lawyer stuff, and then Jimmy scamming people. There's a lot of bouncing around. It does take a while to get used to it. I think season six just needs a bit more intense and a bit more, I guess that's the word I'm looking for, just intense. It needs to be more intense than the other seasons to really pull off the season six leading into Breaking Bad. Because I've already seen Breaking Bad and I'm going to watch it again after this because the twins are in this, Salamanca is in this. I feel like I've spent more time with Gus actually in Better Call Saul than uh, Breaking Bad character. Do like, just so much about him. So much, you get to spend time with him and his wife. You, like, you don't get that in Breaking Bad. You see a lot more of his human side, which is really nice. But I just really need, the, I really want them these next eight episodes just to crank up the intensity. Not go balls out. But just make the stakes a bit higher, and something's gonna happen to hap something is going to happen to Nacho or Kim. And if there doesn't, then this season is gonna be kind of whatever. But I know Vince Gilligan. I know that come episode ten this season, I'm calling it right now. Hopefully, will be the best season of the series because it is off to a good start. We just need a bit more intensity. But uh, other than that, really good season. Awesome shots. Awesome character work. Awesome dialogue. Really, really beautiful show to look at. I think the production value we put into this shit is insane. So if you let, and let me know in the comments if you, you watch Better Call Saul or not. If you can't get into it, I completely understand. It's not for everyone. It's a slow burn. But, uh, yeah, I don't blame you if you like Breaking Bad better, because I do too, but I'm so curious to see where this is going to go.